Hey, how's it going, everybody? You know the drill. We're doing another KMFDM haul. And we got, this is, um, so this is Drill. This is Lucia Cifarelli's band, uh, before she joined KMFDM. And, uh, this is a single called Go to Hell. A couple versions on here. And, um, I don't know, I haven't, I never really, like, checked them out, uh, a whole lot, but I, this song and video is fucking awesome. Um, that's great shit right there. I got a candle burning, I gotta fucking move it over here, so. Alright, we're gonna, gonna have to put a lot of shit here. Uh, this is gonna be a big one. It's, it's not gonna be the biggest one, but it's gonna be a big one. So, let's, let's start here. Um, so, for Christmas, every year. My family gets me all this shit that, like, I'm never going to use. Like, that I'm, I'm ne I don't care about. Like, just don't spend the money on it. I don't care if I get gifts. Just don't spend the money on it. Because they don't understand me. They, they just don't get me. Um, finally. Finally. This year, I'll make a whole video about like all the other cool shit that I got because like every it's like everything coming together. Uh koalas, Italians, came at the M. It's, just, it's all in one place. Books, you know, books that I will actually read. Uh, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's a whole other story. I'll do I'll do a whole video on that, but um I am grateful for the things that that people give me. I'm happy about that. Um but if you're just wasting money on so like if you don't know me, then do, just don't don't even buy gifts from me. I, I don't I don't care about that. I care about spending time with my family. That's what Christmas is about for me. Um so my aunt, she asked my mom, she's like, What is John into? Because I rarely talk to them anymore. I, just because of COVID and all this shit going on. And they, they're up in Maine now. Uh, they're retired. They don't like. So she's like, "What is John into?" And uh, my mother's like, "Well, he's he's really fond of this band that I came at the end." So I don't know where the fuck we're, we're all like, you know, aloof. Like, where the fuck did you find this? And it was made in China. It's not an official like came at the M hoodie. But, I don't know, <laughs> she found it, she, she always finds shit. So she found this, and when I opened this, I cried. I was like, oh my god, this, this is amazing, this is the best fucking thing I can, it's got like the white on the inside of the hood, and it's got the tongue logo, and symbols, this thing is fucking amazing. And uh, it came with a mask, too. Boom. So, like, uh, that's just some cool shit, man. That it's clearly made cheap. Like it was made in China. It's made cheap, but it's fucking cool. I love it, and it's comfortable too. It's like nice and warm. So what else we got here? Uh oh, no, that's gonna wait. All right, we're doing uh, we're gonna do CDs first, and then we'll get to the other shit. Actually, you know what? I'll do you one better. What do we got here? All right. All right, we'll get to these in a minute. Move the candle back so it doesn't fucking burn everything. Where did that fucking thing go? All right, these are like rarities, so I'm going to leave those for last. This is what's cool. Um... Well, first of all, a couple Knights of Red stickers. If you if you know KMFDM, you probably know Knights of Red. So throwing those in there. I happen to grab those on eBay. Real happy about it. So, if you're a fan of KMFDM, you know that they put out the album in dub recently. Got a T-shirt in dub. Yeah, I'm going to turn the light on, because that'll just be easier. Makes everything look like shit, but... We got in dub.
And on the back, a dub against war. And this is cool because uh, I've been looking for more gray shirts. It comes in black and gray. You can get it. I don't know if they're still doing the discount. They were doing a discount where, like, you get either a shirt and a CD, a shirt and a vinyl, or a vinyl and a CD, and you get, like, 20% off or something like that. Um, but I've been waiting a year for this. I think I ordered two things. I think I ordered, like, a T-shirt and a vinyl, and then the order probably got canceled because I ran out of money or something. And I didn't, like, the order went through before some transactions did. So they probably canceled it, is what happened. Um, but I recently, uh, I ordered it again, and I just, like, I got all three. And uh, I was just like, fuck it. I'll just get the whole fucking package. And then, you know? So we got that. Then we got in dub. CD because I collect CDs, so um, no, I wanted to get this. I, I wanted to get it on CD. I, I have to. I have to have every single fucking game at the MCD. Uh, they give me another Tumbling logo sticker. It's pretty awesome. This is what I'm saying. They always give you like a, like a little extra trinket or something, and, and uh, two in dub stickers. <laughs> and these, if you get these. If you get one of these, don't put them on your car. Don't put them on your bumper. Because they well, depending on where you live. Because if you get snow or rain or stick it, like they, I had one on my bumper and it already wore off fast. It's not their fault. It's not Phil Merch's fault. It's just that, they, I don't know. They don't stand the test of time, I guess. I, it's whatever. Put it on something else. Put it on like a road case or something or like a, your computer, or, you know, whatever. But uh, that's some cool shit. And um, here we go. Oh, if I can get it out of here. Gotta get it out of here. I gotta get it out of here. There. We have it on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Double vinyl. And, um, yeah, they get, just like with the symbols vinyl, they give me a poster. They, <laughs> they give me a poster, too. Like, they throw in all this extra shit, and it's fucking awesome. I, I can't even, I can't. I love KMFDM! This guy at work is making fun of me. He's like, I got all my gear. I'm ready for the show. Dude, shut up. <laughs> I just get excited about it. You have to get excited about the things that you like in life. All right, so we get that. Let's pull this candle out. It's fucking raspberry scent. Um, all right, how do we start this out? All right, so let's let's finish up with let's wrap up with KMFDM first, because this is also uh, this is KMFDM and KMFDM related projects, which I just consider I just condense them all into it's just KMFDM. Um, so here's the symbols uh, promo album. There it is. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a cool little collector's item. Um, I haven't even taken out of the uh, taken out of the page yet. I'm interested to see what the CD actually looks like. Oh yeah, it's just it's same as the um, same as the uh, final release. The album. So that's pretty cool. I don't, that's like a cool little thing to have. I just, once you start getting like obsessed with. Something that's it's kind of weird, but it's uh, it's also <laughs> you, you just end up like getting shit that oh what is this oh this is ten bucks okay I'm gonna buy it because I fucking love this band oh, I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting this back in here I'll fucking figure that out later um I got came at the M versus my life at the Thrill Co Cult on CD 
they uh, each covered one of their songs, and uh, it's good shit. My life with the Thrill Coke Cult. This is this is where we're getting into like related projects, because um, they're the same thing. They're like post-industrial rock. They, they kind of do like came at the end and my life with the Thrill Coke Cult tend to do more of like a funky kind of thing sometimes. Um, or like a disco kind of thing. Um, I don't know. But my life with the Thrill Coke Cult is not uh, like my favorite band in the world. But you got to give them... Like, I don't, I don't like anything past uh, Hit and Run Holiday. Let's put it that way. And a lot of people don't even like Hit and Run Holiday. I thought it was a dope fucking album. Uh, a lot of people just aren't into it. But, like, industrial surf rock, like, gothic surf rock, <laughs> come on, man. Who the fuck has done that before? Nobody. You gotta give them credit for that. They're fucking awesome. They're amazing. And the fact that they work with KMFDM is also fucking amazing. And the fact that Liz Torres would work with KMFDM is also fucking amazing. I mean... So, you know, Sasha has like this, just this knack for finding all the best fucking musicians all over the place. I mean, he's so smart that way, and he treats him with respect. <laughs> you know. So this is excessive force. This is um they did two albums and then they have this single, uh, Blitzkrieg, and um, man, it's like. It's like that kind of fucking, like, chunky 90s in industrial music. Like, I wouldn't know how to even explain it, really. Uh, we also have Gentle Death, which is one of the albums. And then I, I need to get the other one. Conquer Your World. Um, yeah, that, that's good shit. Uh, this good, good 90s industrial shit. Post-industrial rock. Uh, all right, we, so we put KMFDM by the wayside because I'm drunk and I ended up getting into the uh, yeah. So we'll we'll go along with this. We'll just do the uh, related work. Well, actually, this is MDFMK. This is the Rabble Rouser single. I haven't opened it. I have no reason to open it. Um, you know, most of these, uh, most of the shit, I have no reason to open anyway. I, I have the MP3s, I don't, and they're not as good quality, but to me, but I, it's these are like collector's items. So we get the the Rabble Rouser single from uh, NDFMK. That was when they disbanded for a little bit. Came at the end, disbanded for a little bit, and then they uh, came up with NDFMK. That's when Lucia joined the band, and um, obviously uh, Tim Scold was was still with him, so. That's pretty cool. Anything I find that, like, would be hard to... Like, if something pops up on eBay, you look up, like, KMFDM Rare. Or, you know, could grab it. Fucking, if you have the money, grab it. If they, There's no reason why you should be on eBay if you don't have the money to spend. Uh, so that's some cool shit. I got more. Give me a second. Give me a second. Get organized here. Oh god, we're not even we're not even getting to the good shit yet. All right, so this we'll do this first. We are KMFM. Uh, 35th anniversary. Oh, 30th. Sorry. Um, I haven't. Like, you know, it's not like I've listened to this CD. I've seen, it's all the same audio. Like, I've seen the uh, DVD. I own it. And um, it's a really good concert. I, I called out of work. the day I watched it one night, and it wasn't even late. I work at, like, 4 a.m. Uh, and it was, like, maybe 8 o'clock that I started watching it. And, I like, I ended up just calling out of work. I was like, I'm not coming in today. That's how moved that was, but, like, this is a great fucking concert. And they play a lot of classics. Some people complain, like, ah, oh, they play the same fucking songs. I mean, it's a, 
they have so much material that it, it's it's a process like figuring out what they're gonna play. Um, like for example here. So if you look at a lot of their live material, they play a lot of the same songs that they normally play, like light. And what do we got on here? We got light. We got son of a gun. We got how rock. But there's some cool ones like they play Animal Out, they play Tohu Vubohu, which I think they play a lot. But um, that I love that fucking song. Um, a drug against war, of course. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't know. People are little bitches about like, oh, they're not. They didn't play the song I wanted them to play. Then, if you look at, at least in my case, if you look at Live in the USSA. Sorry, the light sucks too. What do we got? Let's let's read off the track listing here. All right, and you, you tell me if this is a shit set list because I think it's a fucking great set list. And I haven't even listened to. Let's, side note, I haven't listened to this yet. Uh, this is the kind of thing if I really like a band, um, and they do you know, a live album or a live DVD with, like, extras, you know, backstage stuff and all that shit. Um, I save that for, like, a rainy day. I save that for, like, a time when I'm comfortable. I really want to just enjoy something because we all have so much stress in our lives. So you got to, you have to cherish it. You can listen to it a, a million times or watch it a million times if it's a DVD. But once you see it, or once you hear it, you've seen it or heard it. So I, I save these things for, you know, a special day, you know, or a special night. When, like, I really feel like it. So let's read off the track listing here. we got Freak Flag, okay, Ace, Hell Yeah, Ace, Rebels in Control, Ace. And, and keep in mind, this is the Hell Yeah tour. I believe. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to play a lot of songs from that album, which was an excellent fucking album. Uh, you got Total State Machine. You got Burning Brain. So we've got four tracks from Hell Yeah. We've got one track from What the Fuck. Boom I Yay? I loved that song. And I was like, they'll never play that live. And they, they probably did on the tour, but... They play it on this tour, and um, that's fucking cool. I can't wait to fucking hear this. They got Glam, Glitz, Guts, and Gore, which is a fucking banger. Absolute banger. Fucking bruiser. They play Shock, which is an excellent fucking song that they, I would never think they would play live. They play Virus, which is awesome. Uh, obviously an older track, um, but a classic. I'd rather hear Virus than, like, Light. You know what I mean? It's, that's just, that's a meaningful track. That's, like, a seriously, obviously, Light is kind of, uh, like, they're, they're flying their flag. You know what I mean? As if they don't in every fucking song. But, uh, yeah, then, then from there, we go to uh, Murder My Heart. Great song. I remember watching the video um, for that before I saw them the first time live. Which is kind of sad because obviously I'm pretty young. Uh, that like <laughs> that just that just paints me as a young person. That the first time you saw them was on the fucking hell yeah tour. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Um, but yeah, I remember watching that video and I was trashed. And it was like an hour before the show started, and I had to drive into Boston. And um, I watched it, and I was like, I didn't think much of it. I wasn't like, th there wasn't much going on up here. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just that I, I wasn't processing it, really. And I was just like, oh, it's a game at the end video. And uh, I watch it now, and I'm, I'm like, that's fucking awesome. It makes me remember, like, the time I had at the concert. I met my friend Amy, and she's really fucking cool. And uh, we were drinking out of my trunk and shit. I was drinking booze, going in and out. And, uh, that's a whole story in itself. Um, but yeah, good times. 
then they play World War Three, which is a fucking banger. Um, and they close out with Godlike, which is, of course, they're gonna do that. So this this is a great fucking live album. I already know. I already know. I don't have to. I, I haven't listened to it yet. I don't have to. I already know. And I can't wait to. And I'm saving it for like a special, special time when everything is peaceful and I can just enjoy my fucking music. And uh, so here we got, um, and I've been dying to get this, uh, Pig vs. KMF Man. I'm so terrible with fucking cameras. It's hilarious. It's in Sex and Salvage. And uh, the track. That I, so I've been making like playlists. I've just came up the M material, came up the M related material. Um, and just like getting high and just like imagining them playing. You know, but like with a bunch of other, like, you know, like 10 people on the stage and they're just, they're all banging out. And Fuck Me is, like, a staple. And that that song is so fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> fuck me! <laughs> I, I love the, um... I love the misanthropy that involved. <laughs> All this, like, in, just in goth music in general, or anything related to... It's, it's like, oh, fuck me, right? <laughs> At least that's how I look at it. Other people might look at it differently. I don't know. I don't even... Some of the time, I don't even know what their fucking intention was with, with the songs. I just... I view them a certain way. And, uh, yeah, this is... It's five tracks, but this whole fucking album is really awesome. Um, original Wax tracks. I believe it was, what? 1994. Good stuff. Uh, if you can find a copy, it's kind of hard to find. It's not impossible to find. I found one. I was like, I'm grabbing it. I was like, fuck it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a long-ass video. So let's do... Let's rattle these off first. Uh, so I got. I recently got this. It's Pig. Risen. Uh, good album, um, I have one of the two remix albums, um, and the remixes are awesome as well, um, this is Raymond Watts, if you don't know, uh, he was kind of one of the founders of Game FPM, uh, I believe it was that he had the studio, um, and I forget how Sasha met him, but... That's, that's just kind of, that's the story there. Uh, I recently, actually just today, like about an hour ago, I, uh, I purchased the newest Pig album, uh, Pain is God, and that's a pretty promising album. I haven't heard all of it, and I could, because everybody, everybody just puts everything on YouTube nowadays anyway, but. I'm going to wait to get it and, like, really sit down and just listen to the whole album. I've heard a few tracks, and I, I really I really want to see what is going on there. Uh, I got Swine and Punishment. Also by Pig. And Pig was Pig was actually around. It, Raymond Watts had started um, a year before Sasha had started Game at the end. He had started Pig a year before. We got the, I, I'm not even going to try to pretend that I, I can speak French or, like, pronounce French. But um, if you are a fan of Pig, you would know this this album here. Pretty fucking awesome uh, album cover. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking sick. Yeah, my camera sucks, but they're, they're both pointing guns at each other. Yeah. They're like trying to kill each other. It's fucking dope. Uh, also, have a uh, genuine American monster. Classic pig, pig, pig album. Jeez. I'm in my cups, huh? Um, I've already, like, these, 
there, and I have Pigmata as well. These, I already know all the tracks off of these. I, I've listened to these for years. They're older albums. It, some, and this one is too. Uh, the ones I showed earlier are kind of, these are newer. These are like him, because he went on hiatus for a while. Um, but then he decided, I love music, so I'm just going to come back and fucking make music. Um, but it's cool to have these on CD. I didn't have them on CD before. I missed my iPod. I just download music from Soul C. But uh, and it sucks because like it, I'm not even supporting the artist by buying this shit on eBay. You know, I'm supporting somebody else. I'm supporting somebody's fucking. Uh, I don't know. Hang on, I don't know what the fuck. All right, so now we're gonna get to the real cool shit. So. If you are a fan of KMFDM, uh, please enjoy. Uh, so this, this is a drop card. Um, I'm not sure what exactly it was. It, it might have been for like a, um, a free download of the Amnesia single at the time. But uh, this is what it looks like. You get the artwork on there. And um, I don't know, I saw this and I was like, wow, that's like a once in a life. I'll, I'll probably never see one of these again uh, posted somewhere. So why don't I just grab that? It was like eight bucks um, on eBay. And that was pretty cool. You know, I, I just love collecting shit. I absolutely love it. I love all my shit. I love my shit. Oh, that's that's gonna be last. I got another cool photo of them. I should take it out of here, but let's see if this works. Came at the end. 1997. Boom! You got Sasha. You got Abby Travis. You got Gunther Schultz. You got NSH. They're all there. Shit's fucking cool. I would get this one laminated too, just like the other ones, but it's probably fine the way it is. It's like wrapped in plastic. Yeah, it's probably fine the way it is. It's fucking awesome though. Good stuff. Uh, this. This is near and dear to my heart because I work at FedEx and I've worked for FedEx in different capacities over the years. I worked for FedEx Express, uh, got fired for telling some kid I got him a body bag for Christmas, um, and now I work at FedEx Ground and I'm happy there. Uh, but anyway... <laughs> FedEx Express uses the planes. So I have like a FedEx Express. Well, it's just a FedEx vest, like a driver vest, because I used to be a driver. And um, I have a FedEx pin with wings. It just has FedEx in the middle. This, this is unfucking believable. I don't I found this and I, I'm like, no, you're not, you're not getting away from me. There's no fucking way you're getting away from me. <laughs> Try to get close enough so you, because the fucking blur. It's KMFDM with the, the artwork from Light. And it's got wings! And it's a pin! <laughs> this is so fucking dope. <laughs> this is like my prized possession, right? <laughs> And I'm trying, I've been trying to figure out, like, where to put it. Like, maybe up my ass or something, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I've been trying to find out, like, what to put it on. I have a black Kevlar vest that I could put it on. I don't know. Came with a little guitar, too. A little guitar pin. I'll, I'll never wear that. Where, 
We're a little flamboyant, but not too flamboyant here. Right. We like to flaunt shit, but you know, not, nothing. We're gonna do it. We're lime green. It's not one of my colors. All right, I can't get this open right now, and I don't feel like uh, damaging it at all. But this is like the biggest fucking. So, uh, brute who does all the artwork for um, Game of PM, uh, he put out, uh, well, actually, I gotta open it, because I need to know when the fucking, I think it was the early 90s, he had, like, a comic that he put out, and it, well, it wasn't, it was, like, it was a comic, and it was like it was stories, and then there'd be like uh, illustrations to it that were kind of funny. And it was all like just uh, uh, what what nineteen. This one's from nineteen eighty nine. He did seven issues, um, and I found this, and it was forty bucks, and I was like, th again, I was like, I'm no. I'm not letting this slip through my hands. No fucking way. He did seven issues, and they're extremely hard to find. And, um... I found this, and I had to get it. I had to get it. And the stories are fucking hilarious. I should read them, but I don't really feel like it. I'm already, like, drunk and fucking shit up, so... I, you know, fuck it. But the other thing... Um... It, like, those are extremely rare. There's seven of them. I got one of them. I'll probably never find any of the other six. They're like Dragon Balls. <laughs> no, but really. Um, if anybody knows of anyone who has uh, some of the um, came at the M vinyls from, uh, was it 24 hours of KMFEM? Or KMFEM 24-7. That's what it was. Because I got it confused with something else that I... I thought it was like, that people got those... If they, I thought it was like a contest, like, listen to KMFEM for 24 hours straight, and then they'd, like, send you a vinyl. So got, I, I didn't know what it was, but I, I had recently looked it up. And so there were, um... I think actually... 20, there are 28 of them. I have one. I have Adios. Uh, I almost got Day of Light, which is a very rare single. And, uh, I don't know. I kind of shit the bed on that. I didn't have enough money at the time. And I was like, oh, hopefully nobody will buy it. Obviously somebody did. But, uh, if anybody knows... Of, of any of these singles that they, if they have one if you have one if, if you know where to find one uh, please let me know because I really want those bad and uh, that's pretty much gonna do it uh, a lot of cool stuff uh, I'll probably make like one more of these after have, have to accumulate some more shit. But, uh, if you're a fan of KMFBM, fucking keep on keeping on, man.